Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some more gambling on news. What a fantastic day. Today we got PMI and it's looking fairly bad for the dollar. But our major confluence is this gap right here on the XY. Even though we got major liquidity right here and it's all close together, the XY might do a sideways thing. That's my kind of thing. We are on two positions, USD Swiss and US 30. Already, US 30 is already flying, so that's super good for us. We're up a, fa a fair value amount. We got this trend line above. I mean, I'm being a bit conservative here, I think, for the target. But yeah, got this. Let me pull this to the side and leave us with the MetaTrader. Ready 2k up, 30 seconds to go. Let's see what this gives us. I already have trailed my stop loss to here. I was actually gonna get a second position here. If you can see, this candle closed below this week here. I was supposed to get a position there, I'd add in, but I was too slow to get it. So yeah, let's see man. It can also go down through trace again. I said the DXY, the DXY how it looked. And we're creating a magic imbalance here. But yeah, one. Up, up. A bit of gap up. <laughs> it's also election days, guys, so it's a bit slow today. It's a bit slow. And yes, it came out good for the dollar. As you can see, I mean, liquidity speaks for itself. It was supposed to be bad. Don't just believe the forecast. Always look at the chart and see what the liquidity is saying. Now we're getting a bit of bipolar reaction. But yeah, as I suspected, it wasn't so strong for, for the markets because of the election. But we also got USD Swiss that went up a lot. You see, I put myself break even here. Even though like US 30 has already gone up a lot. It's still getting a feel for, for the news maybe. Or it's maybe the highs as we retested there. Now we took liquidity here. Yeah, yeah, I might just close it. Yeah, I might just close USD Swiss. Why? Because we just took the previous daily highs here. News ain't that strong, so I was even looking for this, but even more above, we got the gap. But I knew uh, PMI news wasn't gonna be a 100 pip move, like this was NFP, the the previous video where we traded live trading NFP. Again, go check it. We also made huge profits on there. Uh, PMI wasn't able to do this, never, never. Maybe in a couple of days we'll reach this level and fill up this gap, but today. In a minute of news dropping, nah, possible. US 30, I also wanted to place myself on uh, NASDAQ, but damn motherfucker just flew. Yeah, I was looking to place myself, uh, where was it? Price was here, I was looking to place myself here on the imbalance. I should have stayed for the five minute and I, maybe I could have got it, you see? You see the little candle in the instrument? You got the inducement right here, breaks, you place yourself. That's the kind of best way to place yourself. I'm not just bullshitting here. You can see the reaction here. <laughs> you can see my USD Swiss. Exactly the same thing, guys. Exactly the same thing. My entries, at least for my plan, are all like this. You can see this line with this inducement. If we go on lower time frames, you can see it's exactly that. Like I've talked to you guys about in the structure video, we're going up, we're going up, okay, going up again, breaking this high, forming a new high, and then breaking the low, fuck, breaking the low, you got your entry, it's a sniper entry because it just takes liquidity and just goes your way, alright, but we close this one, kinda here, 4122, not mad at that, little 2000, thousand bucks and uh, just gotta keep on US 30 now and imagine that it's going beautifully and as US 30 I was saying there were some highs 
There was some a trend line here. Why is this not charging? All right, so we just. I'm just not with my chat now. Uh, what's up? Is it this bullshit that? Fuck off, man. Where's my shit? Where's my fucking lines? Where's my fucking drawers, man? I right, so man's gotta do this again. So you can see we have a trend line right here, okay? We made a trap right here. So we took out this liquidity, all right? We went up. Now people here thinking we're bullish, and now we come drop again, all right? Finally, I don't know what's the matter with this. And as we drop down, we now do the proper breaker structure and we potentially go up fill this efficiency break this trend line but again i'm only here for new so we're gonna only gonna target this depends if this motherfucker doesn't worry up i might just close it because i don't want this video to be long as well but yeah once you see the liquidity break also always wait even on lower or higher time frames we break the liquidity smart money traders are seeing a run of liquidity a regular structure and they place it themselves here. That's one price impulsively takes them out for your A, the M, and right now you possibly get the distribution all the way up. Come on. I'm usually good with PMIs. Last day was PMIs, it was French PMI, German PMI, and US PMI in the afternoon. I predicted all of them. Not to be bragging, but. <laughs> You can see I'm always I'm all, I'm also gonna drop a video on on a on a breakdown of one PMI trade I did, but it was some time ago. And it wasn't live, but yeah, still got the profit, still got the MT4 to show it. But yeah, man, nice, nice, nice. Maybe pff, I'm thinking about if I trail it, cause I don't. Uh, also don't want to be here forever all right i'm gonna pause it and come back once this shit has done something look at this as well i also wanted to place myself on gold but this motherfucker just ran away from me and now during news timing literally five minutes before he wanted to tag me in and just go well not tag me in because i deleted the order limit but that's basically how i like predicted the price to go and worked out perfectly but gold's a motherfucker really this shit is always getting away which uh, basically we broke the previous daily high and gave out some traps right here All right some moving down as soon as we got to the to retesting the top and we just broke the previous daily high and now we're delivering the whole the movement in regards to our us 30 position Still basically on the same spot. Alright, so even though I believe this high will get broken, I'm thinking of trading the stop loss. Super aggressive. To about 2.2k. Because we're testing this high, we're breaking the inducement. We might get some reaction, even though I think it's gonna get taken. Because it's not the previous daily high, but it's. Yeah, it's the previous daily high. Okay, okay, okay. Just because the session is kind of different here. It's all fucked up on my on my indicator as soon as I go here. But yeah, we can get some reaction out of this as we break the inducement. And was I tagged out? Yes, I was, ta I was tagged out for approximately 2k. All right, so we leave this with 3%. 1% on USD Swiss, 2% on US 30. I was also already like one, one or one percent up, or two maybe, here on US 30. Yeah, 1.5 to be exact. And the reason I also trade aggress aggressively is like one thing they do in these institutions, or some guys, is that I'm I'm risking all of this profit to only earn this. And that's having a 
negative risk reward because basically I might be in profit but it's basically having this um, my thing were in break even and it's basically having a risk reward to 0 0.5 which is shit but yeah we might get the reaction right here we might target it right now but I already played the news I'm already good I got my profits and this is gonna take forever I'd much rather just be safe and end the video right here so yeah guys hope you like this live training videos let me know in the comments I'll do more a bit more gambling but in reality once you know liquidity you can predict how price moves all right just check my other videos and you'll see so yeah guys hope you enjoyed and peace out